Hey, you know what time it is? It's video time. Okay, here's the story. Here's the story. The Blue Eddy people want me to make another video, right? Because their thing, by the way, their campaign here, uh, the crowdsourcing campaign for this thing uh, has reached four million, <laughs> four million dollars raised. This is a very successful campaign. That's however they're doing it. That's how you do it, right? The marketing thing, that's how you need to do it. So anyways, I want to make a video and I'm like, okay, I'll make another video. But like, I want to make a useful video. I don't just want to be like, hey, go buy this thing. It's, a, it's pretty cool. It's amazing, whatever. It is a pretty cool thing, right? Uh, it's pretty cool for the reasons that a lot of people find it useful. If this thing is a dream uh, come true for the van dwellers, RVers, and, and those sort of people, right? Why? Because, I mean, because this thing is not that amazing. In my eyes, it's not that amazing. It's 1.7 kilowatt hours. Yeah, it's a big battery, but you can only use like one and a half kilowatt battery, I think, like that. So, yeah, one 1.5, I think that's the test that I did. But uh, it's got a 2,000 watt inverter. Uh, the one that, this is a pre-production unit. This one, the one that this one has is not as good as the one that is uh, on other uh, sample or units or pre-production units, right? And obviously it's not gonna be as good as the one that is going to finally ship on the production. And by the way, the production of this has started. They are sharing a bunch of pictures and videos of that has started already. So. But the thing that makes it really good for a lot of people, the RV crowd uh, and specifically, is that it has really good and robust uh, DC section. So you can get 12 amps, uh, 12 volts, three amps here, and then you can get 10 amps on this socket here. And a bunch of people have tested it, and I tested it also, and that is true. Also, you can get up to 25 amps on this other socket. And I tested this, and you could indeed get 25. Now that's pretty cool for the people who have a bunch of devices that are 12 volts. So if that's you, then obviously you are in love with this guy here and this is what you need. Now on the comments, there's a Facebook group. On the comments, I've seen a bunch of people saying like, you know, it's cool, I've ordered one, I've ordered two. Uh, and a lot of people are saying like, how do we, I need to figure out how to get to, to increase the capacity on this thing, right? So obviously one and a half kilowatt hours is not enough. And they're like, how do we do it? How do we do it cheaply, right? So now I'm thinking, how do I help these people? Obviously to me, uh, the, the choice, the, you know, to, to build a DIY battery is the best choice. You can, you can build the biggest battery for the least amount of money. Uh, of course, building a thing is gets kind of confusing. It gets challenging for a lot of people, right? For me, it's no big deal. So then I'm like thinking, how do I show you guys how to build a battery the easiest, quickest way uh, that is affordable, right? And then bam, these batteries come to mind. And tonight I'm like, ah, let me do a little quick test. Before I do a build, let me test a proof of concept that this will work, right? This thing had been completely empty. It was at zero because I used it up uh, last time doing the test, right? And I hadn't really touched it since then. And these battery, I fully charged it up. This is obviously the scooter batteries that I'm selling on the website. Uh, they're about $57 each, right? And they're about 444 watt hours. So then I thought, hmm, I wonder if this voltage will work with the input here. And so that's what I'm testing right now. I just plugged it in. This is the cable that comes with the unit. And all I did was just, you know, put this cable here. Uh, and then this little unit here is just to kind of check on what's happening here. I want to be able to, because of the voltage, I think this one stops working at 35. This one goes all the way down to 30, right? And so if you want the full 444 watt hours of energy, then uh, you have to go all the way down to 30 volts. But this one, I think stops working at 35 from what I've seen on the internet, right? Now we're down, we're close to 35, we're at 37, but look at that, it's still, it's putting, it's putting in 
12 amps, which is the max that this can do, right? So essentially, uh, I'm charging at almost 500 watts. Uh, it was taking this from zero to six uh, percent really quickly. I mean, in five minutes, I, I plugged it in and then I started shooting this video and it was at zero. And so then uh, here we go. And basically it's a good sign that a single one of these can do full power in. So if you were to put multiple of these, then the the, the full power in, no problem. It'd be, it'll charge at, its, at the quickest possible uh, speed that this device is capable of doing, which is 12 amps, right? So what's the scheme here? Well, the scheme is that these are $57. If you were to add like four of these guys, right? Four of them. Do I have another one? No, I have two more over here you would essentially with four here we go with four right there you would essentially double the battery size here right what's 40, 444 or 440 times four isn't that like 1500 something like that yeah things like 1500 which is the usable size battery size in this 1500 right so you would double that now of course i'm doing this test i will uh, wait until I see what's, what I could actually pull out of one of these packs and then multiply that by four. And basically, you know, if I were to put them in special on my channel, which I wouldn't, I don't see why I wouldn't, then for about 200 bucks, I think right now you can get these without a special, uh, they, they're selling my website for like four, uh, 220 four dollars i think right so let's say i give you a discount and it would be you know less than 200 but then with the taxes or with the shipping it would be somewhere around 200 bucks so for 200 bucks you would double the, the the battery size of this now how hard would it be to build a battery using these well it wouldn't be that that hard you would put all four like this and then you would uh solder a cable from here to here to here to here and then another, the positive from here, the here to here, right? And then here, like, and four points. And then all of these little points here, you would have to jump them, right? Jump across here. So it's uh, about 11 cables total, right? And then you would just use a little BMS unit like this. I think this is like 20 bucks, 30 bucks or something like that. You can find them on Amazon. Uh, I will put a link there. And then uh, you would put that in there. You'd find a case. You put this in a case, then obviously you need a charger. This is the charger that I used last time. This I think is another 20 bucks. Um, you might be somewhere around 300 bucks and you would be, you would have double the size. Now, instead of having uh, 1.5 usable, you might be able to be somewhere around three kilowatt hours uh, of usable battery here, right? So that would be a really cool project uh really easy to make and i think would be the cheapest i think 300 bucks doesn't even buy you a uh you know a, a one a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery right i think uh, i think those run somewhere around 800 or 900 dollars like a battle born or something like that well look at that i couldn't really find a battle born on uh amazon but i could find these ones for 789, that's 100. These are all 100 amp hours lithium iron phosphate batteries. And the cheapest one would be this guy right here. Do we want to go on the cheapest one with zero reviews? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll go with this one. It's the second cheapest, the Rixu. $730. Okay. What, how many of those can you get for $730? Jack 35 here. Let's, uh, shot now then you scroll down to these packs the scooter packs right so 57 dollars you see there 57 dollars let's say okay so so if you get two of these at the cart 673 okay so then you, you still get you can still get more i think right add another one 731 dollars there we go so you can get a total of 
well, 12, 13 of those things. And 13 of those, 13 times 441 hours. Oh my God, 5.7 kilowatt hours for the pr same price as a 100 amp hour right lithium iron phosphate so there you go if you needed a reference point to see how cheap these, these things are very very affordable and that's the reason why i like these 18650 battery packs is literally the most affordable battery that exists today on the market right and we've sold like 3,000 of these things and uh i think we've gotten maybe like 10 bad ones out of all of those so they're really really consistent really good these are top top rated cells they're like brand name lg mh1 cells they're they're quality stuff right and they're pretty recent they're like one of the most dense cells that you can get uh and these are can I'll definitely put out 12 amps no problem so anyways just think about that i'm gonna make that video i'm gonna make it like here's what you do here's what you buy boom how's it connected all that stuff right but tonight i kind of want to just show you how some of these projects get formed right i proof of concepts i gotta you know i get an idea i'm like okay what if i can do this what if i can do that the other thing that i was gonna do was uh an ammo can for this one like i did for the other unit right uh but that one uh yeah i, I could have done it too but it's uh i think it would be more expensive so because these are available right now i thought well let's do it let's make it um i hope this is helpful for all you uh blue eddie ac 200 crowd there you go this is how you not only double but you could triple quadruple the size of your battery on your blue eddy so in case you need it there you go little update here uh it's been 57 minutes and look at that 30.6 volts and it finally stopped uh started tapering off it's been doing 12 amps up until this point and then right now it's tapering off this thing here is almost perfectly made to run a 10s battery basically a 10s that means each cell it's at three points uh what's a three three point zero five uh volts right so that means they're they're very near they're like maybe like five percent off from the from the bottom and then that's when this starts tapering off right so hopefully uh you don't usually don't want them below three volts right uh this is the the you know so probably 29 volts is the the minimum that you would want to go to to keep your batteries from uh getting too too much or degradation right uh, rapid degradation so that's what tesla does tesla doesn't go below three uh three three volts per cell so this thing is now tapering i don't know where it's gonna stop i'm just gonna leave it there and see where it stops but look at that 421 hours right uh 58 that is exactly 25% of the capacity of this unit. That means that four of these units, the four of these battery packs, will charge this thing 100%, which means that you essentially, four of these will double the capacity of your Blue Eddy. Wow, this is pretty cool. See, now we can do a video about this. Now we can do a build and it shall be pretty nice pretty good pretty cheap and pretty useful to all you guys out there that are uh going to receive your blue eddies pretty soon all right thank you for watching this video we'll see you bye